In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at sewing machine basics and how to create a seam. A seam is a method of joining two or more pieces of fabric together through a stitch line. There's a few different methods of how to create this. We're going to be looking at a couple, as well as methods of how to neaten them. To start with, I'm going to practice sewing straight lines. To create a straight stitch, what would be a running stitch by hand, I will set my stitch width to zero and the length to 2.5, which is the correct length for an average stitch. On my machine, I have two dials on the right hand side, but yours may look different. Use the guidelines on the metal stitch plate by guiding your fabric with the edge parallel to the guideline you are following. This is good practice for when you are creating a seam. On some machines, your guidelines will show measurements in either centimetres or inches. Often, a seam will be sewn one or one and a half centimetres away from the edge, so it's helpful to know which line to follow. If your machine doesn't have measurements like mine, take a ruler and measure the length from the needle to the guideline and make a note of which line is one and one and a half centimetres from the needle. Have a practice at changing the stitch. You may need to use your manual or search for your machine model on YouTube. Practice and try out as many stitches as you can. Before I start to sew, I'm going to check the stitch width and the stitch length are set to the correct settings. To create a plain seam, I will sew a straight line one and a half centimetres from the edge using the guidelines to help me. Now I need to tie the threads off. If you were to just cut the thread, it will start to undo, especially if it's under any tension. To properly tie off your stitch line, cut both threads from the machine, giving yourself enough length to work with. Gently pull the top thread and you will see a loop appear. With your finger, pin or even seam ripper, hook this loop and pull through. You should now have both your top and bottom thread on the top surface of the fabric. Now you can knot these two together and trim the excess thread. Another quicker method is to go backwards and forwards on the sewing machine for a few stitches either way using the reverse lever. Once you've sewn your seam, open it out and iron it flat. When making textile products look professional and neat, an iron is your best friend. Don't ever skip this step. Now we are left with the raw edge, which will fray over time and doesn't look particularly neat. One method of neatening the seam is to take each edge and fold it back under itself. The trick is to iron this in place once you have folded it with your fingers. Fold all the other layers to one side so you're just left with the one side of the seam folded under itself and stitch a straight line on this edge. Go slow if you need to. You'll only have a small margin of error. Repeat for the other side. Remembering to fold all the other layers out of the way otherwise you risk double stitching and catching the other fabric that you do not want to be sewing. This method of neatening is called a turned and sewed seam.
I will show you a plain seam again, but this time with patterned fabric. Fabric has a back and a front side, especially if it has a pattern printed on it. The side with the pattern, or the front, is called the right side, whereas the back, or the side without a print, is called the wrong side. Normally when we create a seam, we always put the right sides together, so that we, when we open back out the seam, all the messy edging is hidden underneath. Different types of seams may be used to best suit the garment or product you are making. Next, we'll make a French seam. For this seam, you'll actually put the wrong sides together. Sew a line this time closer to the edge about just under one centimeter away. Once you've created your stitch line, then trim about half a centimeter off the edge, decreasing the space between the stitch line and the edge of the fabric. Now fold back the other way so that your right sides are now together. Sew a second line between half and a centimetre away from the edge. Now all the raw edges are hidden within the seam itself. This is a great seam to use for lightweight, sheer fabric where you may seam the seam through the fabric or for underwear or loungewear where an edge seam may irritate your skin. Another easier but less effective method of neatening the fabric is to use a zigzag stitch to edge each of the raw edges. For my zigzag stitch, I have set the width to two and a half and reduced the length slightly to squish the stitch together. I'd suggest practicing lots of different zigzag stitches by changing the width and the length using your dials on the machine to see how this affects the appearance. The final method is to trim the edge with pinking shears if you have a pair. This helps to reduce the fraying slightly, but it will continue to fray. I've used the pinking shears to neaten up all the edges of my samples as well, just to make it look a little bit neater.